Okay, I'd like to play some Good Night Night, which I'm playing right now. <laughs> Think pixely, procedural generation, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, but twin stick and with an interesting use of light and darkness. I'm playing with mouse and keyboard, but this gamepad's important. There's also local co-op. You can go in here and I'll show you. You just go to this little crystal orb thingy and you click it. Uh, it's E, E for interact, and you go, Whoa. Select control device, so it's detecting what I have plugged in. So that tells you, yeah, it will work. And there's also that Steam remote play thing too, which you could do. This is the, how you, like you rest there, and I can talk about that later. Your items, you have the dog, sprint. Make sure I'm going here, it's always worth the double check. Seems to be going cool, great, great, great. Okay, so I'm gonna play, go in the tower. And see, it, it defaults to shrine. Don't go into the shrine like you just started. Don't do that, you're gonna die. <laughs> yeah. This is, in terms of a difficulty, it should, this, this game's early access case, I didn't, I didn't mention that, I didn't yet. So they should default you here. This is the this is the non procedural generated part here. The entryway, that's the extend tutorial. It goes up to nine. And you'll reach the top and you'll get this, and then all of a sudden all this stuff opens up. It's not really they don't really seamlessly integrate it well. But then you've access to these other things. I'd probably say you shouldn't be able to go to these places until you've cleared all this. Like this is where you're supposed to go. You go here, you'll get crushed, you're gonna die real fast. Ditto here. This area actually looks a lot like the the intro area you go to the so I've got, I got to four somehow. Well, I started one again, I don't remember four. I must have unlocked a stair. So now we're in procedural generation, the stair. So you see, I was talking about light and darkness. You can only see what is in front of you. You don't have eyes in the back of your head. <laughs> That'd be a hell of an interesting mutation, right? <laughs> Boop, dashing. So that's how you unlock pro progress in the tower. I'm thinking, hmm, playing, thinking almost yeast when you ascend the tower. And just in terms of unlocking it. So now in Procedure Generation, I have a Maldist or a Curse that increases my XP gain, but seals rooms until I clear them. Slash those. Sometimes critters lurk in there. Ah, see? Okay, Richard, shield! So he gets kind of. He's like, you! <laughs> I like the boldness in that skeleton. Okay. So don't take damage. No rooster. See, enemies clearly telegraph, but I'd say. Can I take. Oh, no. I didn't take. Ah! <laughs> You see, it changes so much not being able to see. Oh, and that does that. Yours! See, it feels good, but the combat, I think, could use a little more more sound to it, right? Do smash these things. They hold food. Red is food. You need that to heal properly. If you don't have it, you'll eat, like, half rations, and it gives you, like, half hit points. They should probably change that, I think. No one wants to start at half hit points. I mean, assume they're feeding Glorious Hero, right? Pick that up. And we can dash around if I want. What I can also do, I think Legends of Link of the Past, Pick it up with E, and then uh, I can throw it. Getting hurt monsters with that. That green there, that's like potion making. I haven't unlocked the ability to do that, but I can get potions. Think, yeah, I think uh, darkest, not darkest dungeon, Jesus. Dark Souls kind of vibe, but with Nestus Flask, you have to physically recharge. Or maybe, yeah, what's what's that? I can't remember it now. Oh, cool. See, I, I killed everything, so it cleared. That's the map, the very Legend of Zelda. Or even the first Zelda, in terms of the, the grid-based system, or... What's that other game? Uh, Binding of Isaac does a similar way. Oh, that that's where I was. Oh, God, that's a staircase. Okay. So it didn't respawn the monsters. Okay, so I can head here. I wish I could bring up the map. As of yet, I cannot. You just have to remember, I guess. So there's one stair indicating there. I looted that already. Uh -huh. It didn't repopulate anything. I've, I've cleared all this. I can't get the treasure again. I can kill the monsters again, kind of grind a little bit. The enemies. Di ow, ow, okay, so that, that's a, that's a debuff. Don't get lit on fire when you're already kind of smoldering. Because what will happen is you will lose control. And you're, ah, you're on fire, you run around. It's pretty cool, actually. No, my guy acted a lot. It's you! It's you! It's like, it is me. You see how it's kind of. Okay, I'm letting myself get s surrounded. Die! I stole your beef, Snake Man. <clears throat> Uh, are you? <laughs> He's like, you didn't. That was my urn. So you got uh, stuff you drop. Nah, no. See how it's flashing yellow there? It means I'm out of stamina. One. Healing does one. One, one, one. Come on, come on, come on. You want to do one? Then you die. I want to go ahead and meet, I guess. It's marrow. Yeah, but you should lots of meat, Mr. Man. So I can only do about four attacks before I'm completely out of stamina. But that, that ties into my... Ooh, those. I think, you know, they could take them. They don't seem to take inventory space, so I think I should have them. But that ties... See, flash again there. I like that. Like, that, that uses my... My dash uses that. My slam uses that. My stamina comes back 
half, at half speed when I block. And I'm pretty sure you take them, you lose stamina when you when you block and take a hit. But it only set points. You can walk on that and uh oh, uh oh. So you kind of ignite yourself a little bit. Don't do that. That's bad. That's really bad. It would be cool if I could. You saw those green things, those ingredients. I can't. I'm stacked up on those and I can't make potions yet. So I don't. I can't do anything with them. Those little green things in the corner that the game's saying not to show you now. Right now. Oh, those ones. That's. Those are considered supplies, I guess, like blacksmithing kind of thing. I, I guess he's using them for... Huh. If I, sl if I chop those, I get them. If I walk through it, I don't. No, it's just kind of random. Alright. Purple door. Purple doors seem to be the way I should go. I, I'm right here, right? I think. No, I'm here. Oh! Hey. Okay. Don't know where I am. <laughs> I'll go back to purple door. Alright, so B2, that heads me down, up, I guess, so I'll head purple. Where's purple go? Purple's treasure! So open these things, just, just attack. Hmm. Oh, it was an altar, and I already got the goodies. Okay. Well, I guess we'll go up, it's a little floor. But you see, it's quite fun. B3, do, 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 do. get all your stuff back. Per when you enter a new room, good, speed things up. This is... okay. You can also go in water and pick up the wet condition, which is good because you could be on fire. It could be a good way of treating that, but I imagine you probably conduct electricity more, <laughs> more damage from electricity, lightning, and you probably freeze a bit easier too. All right, so no monsters are in here. Oh my goodness, what happened? Oh no, oh no. Okay, okay, I'm gonna put out the fire, put out the fire. I did that, see? Ouch, thorns. Okay, it's a zombie. They will take, no, 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 no. zombies are strong. Okay, see, see, they can quickly overwhelm you. Zombies attack in four. One, two, three, four. Hi, I got on a door. No, 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 no! <laughs> See, I referenced uh, Legends of the Link to the Past. Yeah. That. Oh. Kill the trash. No, no, no. I have my XP. I'll tuck. Oh, no, no, no. Stuff, stuff disappears. I, I don't. I wish, I wish it didn't, actually. I got everyone. Or. No, I didn't. <laughs> I heard something. Who did that? What? See, the door's still shut. Ah! Alright, okay, fine, fine, fine. Get soaky wet. Urgh, die! <laughs> and he, he's apparently human, I guess, inside of his skull. So the water can be very helpful. I like how the environment has uses. See so my hit points? They're kind of small now. I have a weird kind of perk thing that turns my lost HP into stamina. It's something. Wish I had healing. I don't have that. If I can find a staircase down, I can... Head back and quickly heal up. It's really good music too. I just I want to show this off. There's only music on or off, and there's only one sound bar. I like to see this separated, obviously. For say, you know, separate say music volume and combat volumes. At least those two, right? Because the volume, the combat sounds are a little buried by the music. Music's good, but it's just, it just buries everything. Eh, eh. See, he falls down. I love that they fall down. Come on, come on, one, two, no! Ah, I don't know what that is, but I want it. It's such a great use of darkness. I want to see if I walk in those briars, I take damage. Nah. Some of them will attack you, though, so you can never really tell. You can also jump over areas, so. That's cool, you can jump over pits. Same stamina out again. More materials. For forging. I ah! Two, three. Ah, so he takes three. One, two, three. Ah, take that, Toge. Yeah. I think it's very fun. Challenging, too. <laughs> I was like, whoa, what was happening? I went up to the, the shrine area, which is like, <laughs> I guess the last, last area. Just let me go to. Oh, I shouldn't do that. Ooh, loot. A potion. Found the center potion. Drink it to temporarily increase maximum stamina. Press tab to access the menu. When hovering over an item, assign it to one, two, three, or four. Press F to use items. See, because it's, it's auto-detecting using the keyboard as opposed to the, the gamepad. Gamepad on items, I believe, is Y. Or, yeah, is it Y? Yellow button, Y, top button, on, on a PS2 sort of one style. Recharge the item by spending ingredients. Yeah, okay. 
You know, honestly, I've always thought like they should, they should consider those potions like it's a magic bottle, right? That preserves what you put in it, right? Very Legends of Link to the Past kind of thing, right? How can you put a fairy in a bottle? Why would a fairy tolerate that? Well, special bottle, right? Or, oh, there it is. It's the other item there. Okay, hello, spider. I don't, I don't. Okay, I bet you're poisonous with the, the bright crimson, you know, neon green blood there. Ah! No, stop it. See, they, they'll come at you hard. No, poisoned. Okay, I'm poisoned. I don't, that's probably really bad. Okay. I'm dying. Hit points. Ah, a little it's hiding in the bush. Okay, I think I shook it. No, I still got the little... Ugh. I'm probably gonna die from it. Uh, Q. It can also lock things, lock onto things with Q. Ah! I don't even know what that is, but it's dead. I'm dead, too. <laughs> the, the bush killed me. And like, so this is what happens when you die. Your XP gets eaten up by your items. That's how the XP works in this. You, you, your items eat it and they get lighter. It, it's weird. And I lost some of those things. What to do? Who cares? Yeah, I don't. And then eventually, because the items lose weight, you can carry more of them, and they let you do things like, oh, this one lets you stealth. Ugh, great, thanks. Oh, this one lets you move faster in a room you've cleared. Okay, <laughs> it's like things you probably have anyway. Now, this is what happens. You die. You appeal him off. I full healed because I had enough uh, meat. This is the cooking stove here. So I did a regular meat, a poultry meal. So I healed. This sh probably shouldn't be an option. They should feed Glorious Knight. Just start here. I mean, it, it, this starts a, a failure spiral, right? You start, you die. You lose some stuff. And then your half-life, go back in, die again. It's like, no, don't, don't do that. These are the blessings. I have both these active, so I get 0.09. Yeah, point zero nine improvement. Yay! <laughs> Exciting, yeah? As I can craft things, I have those things. I got that from a merchant. I guess I'm supposed to trap monsters. I probably should try to do that. Potions. I can brew this, I guess. So, okay, I can mouse up and then select the, the item. Just remind myself what the actual binding, what the actual button is. For item usage, because I don't really use them much. Interact F, it's F. Or I can, I can bind them to one, two, three, or four, as they told me. I, I guess. Menu is tab. Huh, never used that before. So hit points, I like those to go up. Stuff I have equipped, those things. Oh, okay, I can access a map, kind of sort of materials. Those, th those are materials I have, which I can give to the merchant exchange for things. Uh, if I... Okay, one, two, one, two. And then you have to use it. All right, that works. Uh, n n nothing, thank you. No, this is a little built-in guide there. Okay, that's nice, nice. Let's show off the merchant, doggy. Here's the merchant guy here. Hello. Still not rich. I mean, the ritual's still incomplete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so you buy things from him using things I found. Better ingredient pickups. Uh, okay. Allow jump start move. Jump stab move. Okay. Okay. That could be handy. I need 400 of those thingies. And then he wants those thingies too. I think when it means that, it means I can afford it. I think. Better provisional pickups. I, I don't. Become harder to spot when grabbing enemies. I, that's so specific. I don't care. Short and vulnerability. Give me those. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. So he didn't even have it on him because he figured I might murder him and take it, I guess. <laughs> See, he's, he's had dealing with knights before, I guess. So he, he summons it. He, said, he gives you like a catalog. It's like a Sears catalog kind of thing. But, okay, so this gives me iframes on my jump. So that answered the question. You have iframes on your jump. I have a little bit of iframes now at the start of the jump. I had to buy that. <laughs> the ritual hunger is for materials. Not he, wants, he just wants money, man. Sword length up. Ooh, he'll make it bigger. <laughs> God, <laughs> I'd seen that. That's popular. Better provisional pickups. Uh, better ingredient pickups. Uh, detect if room contains high priority threat. Ugh, okay. high. Give me, the, give me the calipers, I guess. So I guess it will show me the hardest monster, I guess. The dousing stick, yeah. Doesn't seem to be tuned to detect water. When entering rooms, detect if the room contains high priority targets. They blink red and give extra materials. Okay. Hmm.
Well, I think we saw what we want. Something that gives me a stat boost. That. I need that. And I need... I need three or four hundred. I'm not sure which of those. And one more of those big blue things. Which I got off snakes, I think. I can do that. So there is a meta progression in that... Yeah, it's permadeath, but you don't really lose much of anything, per se. You die, you, you lose some ingredients, that's about it. So not much in the way of permadeath. But it proceeds generation each time. Reduce sprinting stamina drain, that's good. Armor tubing. <laughs> like, like it's a camel pack. Alright. Sneaking speed up. <sighs> eh, if you like sneaking. Last known enemy possess. That's, that's nice. So yeah, this is the progression. There's a lot of it. And the items you find, too. This guy's just... Yeah, yeah. Do you remember the wish list equipment? Yeah, 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 yeah. Monsters that drop materials, you need a little mark on them. I didn't know that. Cool. Let's head back there. It's gonna be different again. No, we're not going to the shrine. We'll go to Bedrock. And be for sure. Why not do that? Ta -ta. Here you go. <laughs> B5. Door slammed shut. Enemies are in the room. Two... Three, oh, okay, three drops in, which is good because I was just about empty. No, I have less stamina now because I'm at full health. Two, three. I find it's just best to be aggressive and just cut them down. <laughs> I think next time I should set my rations on full so I can get 150% more life, so it'd be at 150%. He didn't. Oh, oh two, two to drop the little skeletons. Zombie. One, two, there we go. Die. I can access the map. Nice. I find sprinting on just cutting them down very effective. And then being able to block, just right click, I'm gonna block. Alright, okay, this room. Eliminate threats. Alright, he saw me, there's one there. Run away! Ouch! You bonk me. He sees me. Oh, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine! I hate the things disappear. That's not great. <laughs> I imagine the zombie is laughing at me too, you bastard. Oh, oh stop it, stop it! Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. <laughs> Ten of them? Is that the cap? Oh, I don't think so, no. So I took some unnecessary damage there. Okay. We can head east. I already cleared here. You remember, so I'm not going to double get the item. It's a little skull repository there. I'm really surprised this game hasn't gotten more attention. It's pretty good. I mean, it's a little rough around the edges. There are things they need to work on, but it's early access, as you'd expect. I might show st sneaking at some point. It's just, I don't have the patience for it. It's tedious. I find it slow. But yeah, whoa! Okay, we don't want you to bite me, a little... Sh okay, cut you down. See, he doesn't see me yet, but now he does. One, two, he's pointing me out now. Web, can I get stuck in it? Yes, I can! Oh no, that's bad, that's bad. It baited them, though, because they're all hanging on the roof or whatever. I do wish I could had, uh, I had different classes on, open up magic or something. I don't normally play the knight. Oh, yeah, poisoned. Ouch. There's one more. Give me that. I should try to... Mm, try to use the potion, right? Oh no, I should try to banish one creature. That's kind of sort of magic, right? Teleport! In here, you fool! To the purple! Go to the purple. It hungers for you. She's like, I'm not stupid. Come out, come out! Come out, go in it. Get inside. Come on, this thing's a pain in the ass to use. It doesn't need to work. Crap. What happens if I go in it? Yay! Yeah. Okay, I don't really care for those things. I'm trying. Uh, uh oh. Ha ha ha! That one was alive. I should try it. It's potions. What's up there? Okay. Hmm. B6. Ah, I've made progress. It's like. Ugh. Oh, dude, I didn't mean to do that. Just. Okay, we drank the potion. That's cool too. Doesn't matter, I'm going down. So what you do is go spires spires break uh, base and go quick rest. Oh, it's a nice feature there. You just boop. I've maxed up the hand. Now it weighs nothing. I'm so brilliant. 
that drained 15 by healing that. Uh, okay. Oh, what do you mean it's over now? How am I overburdened? I lost weight. <laughs> oh, that's what happens. So you pick things up, it gets it to you for free. And then, see, grabbing... This never seems to work. It weighs nothing, though, so who cares? Uh, should I unequip that? Hmm. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I can drop that for now. This is stuff I can carry on me, I guess. I didn't lose it. It went to my, my mimic buddy in my, my, my campsite. That, that campfire guy is a friendly mimic. <laughs> Which is cool. Mimics are underutilized. Okay, so we're gonna... Yum, 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 yum. How much more did that give me? Huh? A bit, I think. Use the portal! I banish thee! Get inside! I don't know why it doesn't work! Get inside! I don't know. Yeah, I put it on this, the bones? I don't know. Oh. Oh, I don't understand. We have to beat the crap out of them or sneak up on them? I'm not very sneaky, though. Know. That's not my vibe. I don't really go for stealth games. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. If I kill him near it? It's like a trap the soul thing from oblivion? No, doesn't seem so. Another scrolls thing. No, it's just kind of crap, didn't work. I'm seeing it anyway. You have to have to creep up on them. Like, you can kind of sort of grab enemies if you creep up on them, but it doesn't work if you don't creep up on them, so who cares? I'm not creeping up on them. I'd rather just hit them. Huh? We have simple like that, but I don't know. Go. Alright, what? You creepy zombie dude. Don't go away. So you can't. No, I can't grab him. Yeah, get off me, creepy. Creepy dude, get away from me. Ah! Jesus, Mantis Man. I think it was tough. I want a healing potion, so I want. <laughs> ah, I'm a little. So be aggressive, but be cautious too, yeah? <sighs> the disappearing items is just, ugh, that's gotta go. The game's tough enough, it doesn't need it, you know? <laughs> I mean, I still don't have any healing potions. That should probably be the first potion you get, not a stamina potion, you know? No, 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 stop it, please. Okay. Gun it, gun it, gun it. It gives me a little... Well. Okay. Game's hard. I don't know if I... I said that before, but it's hard. It's a hard game. I'm gonna put a little break here for YouTube, but I'm gonna keep playing. So, like, subscribe. Right. Well, bye the video. <laughs> Not me.